What's going on everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 LSPDFR episode. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. We have Officer Katie reporting for duty and we are using the uh, Broward County inspired vehicles. I was about to say Blaine County, but Broward County inspired vehicles guys. So really hope that you are going to enjoy this episode today. We got the lights going and shining real nice. So we're gonna get on duty and start our patrol today. I know it says canine on the vehicle, but we unfortunately don't have a canine today. I do have to do another canine episode. You guys really liked it last time. So make sure you guys remind me, okay? Cause I do need to do um, some more canine patrol episodes, but for now, we are just going to continue and kind of drive and see if we can get anything, you know, some traffic infractions or whatever down here in Blaine County, because that's basically what they're known for. If you guys, oh, okay, he almost crashed right into that rock. Y'all saw that, right? Y'all already know I'm going to turn around and get him, because what was that? Like, you failed to maintain your lane, so yeah. We're gonna go ahead and um, just see what's going on with this driver. So that was kind of sus to me. Let me know what you guys thought about that. And where is he going? All right, so he's finally come to a stop. This isn't such a great position, but like, can let's see if we can do a little bit, a little bit better. All right. And then now he just takes off like oh sir just stop the car guys where is he going oh my goodness where is he going oh my gosh that's what he almost did back there he just oh my goodness <laughs> yo he's tripping this is how we are starting off this episode my guy what are you doing he insists on and um, keep going he's just gonna keep going all right, this is hashtag shambles. Hashtag shambles in the comments for me right now. Like at this point, and then he crashes into, okay, all right. At this point, we just have to take him out of the vehicle, guys. So get out of the vehicle, get out of the vehicle. Like you literally drove into a wooden, a wooden wall. Get down on the ground. Let's get some backup out here, y'all, cause I don't know. He's very sus. Like, how do you drive over a huge boulder like that? Like, the whole bottom of his truck is gone. Like, I guarantee you the whole bottom of his truck is finito, guys. <laughs> it's done. All right. My backup sounds very close, so I'm going to go ahead and pick him up. I think we're all good. Y'all, I mean, I, I couldn't tell you what he was doing. I honestly couldn't tell you what was on his mind. Um, have you been drinking? Just do the test and get this over with so I can leave. You're not about to go anywhere. What are you talking about? Like, sir, do you have anything on you that is going to prick me, stab me, poke me, or cause me any harm today? All right, my backup is here. He has a, oh, he has a weapon. We got a Michael Jonas. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, just, I guess, ask him a few more things enjoying the scenery before I was interrupted. You were doing a lot more than that. You almost ran over a, a thing. You're coming from Grove Street? Okay. What? All right, let me go ahead and let my buddy do the uh, breathalyzer test. So maybe he was enjoying the scenery too much. That's why he almost ran into that rock. Look at the car. Yo, let's search it. Okay, he wasn't drinking. Oh, but he has two kilos. Oh, he got two kilos, y'all. He got two. Is that why he came from Grove Street? Let me figure out. Wait, wait, wait. What is going on here? What happened to this unit's vehicle? <laughs> what in the world? All right, y'all already know what we're about to go do. We need to figure out what this substance is, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do a narcotics field test and kind of figure this out. So it's a white powder. All right, so it's negative. We got a negative hit on that. All right, let's see. 
two kilos he had to be trying to he bought it and is trying to like resell it or something okay we're coming back with just negative hits oh we just got a trespassing call but we are busy guys all right let's see what else didn't we check we have to get a positive hit i will not leave here until okay there we go all right so positive hey listen is trevor back to work out here or something let me know because we've been finding we've been finding a lot of bricks okay and then let's go ahead and check this pistol and see if it comes back as you know registered or stolen so it's valid oh so wait was he like a mule or something because maybe they knew that he had a valid um a valid registration for his weapon i don't know what do y'all think i think he might be a mule let's get a um head check on him four or five two thousand dispatch okay everything comes back good all right let's see if he was on anything i'm just trying to figure out why he was driving so crazy y'all that was so crazy negative for every okay he was definitely he was definitely a mule because they used him for the fact that he had a proper permit and then told him to like run this wherever you know so that's what i think the story is let me know down below if y'all agree with me but that's the story and i'm sticking to it because it don't make no sense what happened was he saw us down the street and we spooked him that's what happened and he almost ran into that rock <laughs> so let's go ahead and give him his charges today it's going to be um possession of a schedule one wait is it a schedule two um yeah there we go possession of a schedule two drug with intent to distribute and then let's see what else can we give him attempted escape from law enforcement officer yeah i don't know what he was doing okay um and then oops let me go ahead and submit that and that's what we are gonna have today. Like, I don't know how he got over that boulder in that truck. GTA 5 and its people never cease to um, amaze me. So we're officially code for that situation, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and fix my vehicle because I was following him down this treacherous terrain on some stupid stuff. So, oh my gosh, the flatbed don't have no insurance. <laughs> I mean, get your money how you gotta get it. We got a call for an illegally parked vehicle. We are gonna stay in the Blaine County um, area. So we're just gonna go ahead and, you know, disregard that call. Cause we're gonna try to stay in this area guys in Harmony, Blaine County type. We're never really in Harmony now that I kind of think about it. But um, yeah, civilian scene with a weapon granson or desert we're gonna take that and we have to go ahead and respond to code three so like i said guys you can always expect some craziness to go down in blaine county like i don't know what it is about about the country folk but these country folk be tripping okay <laughs> get out the way like i have so many lights on right now and sirens that y'all need to get out the way all right oh y'all see this lady okay she's wearing a pink shirt all right okay i'm gonna pull up i'm gonna pull up she seems to just be brandishing it let's get some assistance here to help us out so i'm not sure if she shot it shot it at anyone or what but let's go ahead and have our weapon ready or you know what i kind of i need my rifle because she looked like she holding a little some some over there so i need to be prepared okay all right Let's go ahead and see if we can get her to put it down. All right, I got my sights on her. I got my sights on her. Let's get closer so she can uh, she can hear me. All right, ma'am, ma'am, gotta get covered behind this tree though. Ma'am, put down the weapon. Ma'am, if you hear me, put down the weapon. Put down the weapon. All right, she acting like she oh 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 she acting like she couldn't hear. Guys, I had to put her down. She acted like she couldn't hear me and then turned around and started blasting like the disrespect was real right now like she knows she heard me too i was hella loud all right she's still twitching and doing stuff guys i'm not sure if she's you know still alive or what so i'm gonna just wait a little bit and collect that weapon 
she she only had a little bit of money on her but it's all good we gonna we gonna put it into evidence um oh my gosh let me go ahead and see um, what she has on her make sure she doesn't have any knives or anything like that so that we can kind of make sure you know the body is officially cleared let's see all right she didn't have anything on her so let's go ahead and help her Eloisa can you hear me can you hear me all right I'm trying to check her breath I'm also gonna call ambulance to the location and uh, you know see if they can kind of help us out I'm gonna do what I can I'm gonna do what I can guys I put the flare over there. Hopefully they can come and help us. Oh, dang. Y'all, I think I gotta go practice CPR. I gotta go to one of them CPR classes. Cause every single time that I've done CPR on somebody, like I have not saved them. Like that is just not right. All right, so we have the air ambulance on their way. I have to make sure to go ahead and put the flare out so that they know where to, um, where to come y'all all right where are they i need help i know it's raining it's kind of foggy so hopefully they are um allowed to to fly right now because do they like not fly when it's like raining and, and such y'all let me know let me know in the comments i'm not really too sure about that but i don't want to i don't want to do anything too much okay they're they're close they're close by i'm like dang where y'all at all right, I, low key though, or maybe high key, I really do love calling the air ambulance because I think it's so cool like when they rappel down and kind of like help the people and stuff. So it's just, it just takes more work for them, I feel, especially in my game with like all the trees because it's hard for them to land. So I do prefer that. Can they help? She over there, where y'all turn to? The other EMTs are finally running up. Like, where have y'all been? I called y'all like a while ago. Okay, let's see if they can if they can help. I tried to get this lady help at least. Like, I know she was tripping, but I was still trying to help her. Y'all saw how many EMTs I called out here. All right, let's see. I'm trying to give y'all all, all of the all the views. I don't know. I don't think she's gonna make it. Dang, yeah. I feel like it was too long. They took too long, guys. We gotta go ahead and request the coroner team to uh, to our location. Let me know, should I just have kept doing CPR? Is that what they do out in the field, guys? Like, cause I usually try to do it just once and then wait for the um, EMTs to come so that I don't do like anything wrong. Or should we just keep administering CPR until the until the EMTs come, let me know in the uh, comments down, um, and let me know in the comments down down below. But I'm gonna go ahead and move the vehicle. I mean, we did kind of, we 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 definitely did give her like a lot of shots. It was, you know, we hit her with that ratata. -ta -ta, okay, so it was a lot, guys. It was a lot. So I didn't expect her to live, but I, I mean, I had hope for the girl. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to wait for the corner unit to um, get on scene and this is unfortunate. I wish we could have like talked to her and talked her down, you know, but unfortunately she shot at us first. So ain't much talking we need to do after that. Like if you shoot at me, I'm busting back. One of us is living and it's not finna be you. So what you want to do? Okay, look, I got bars, but... <laughs> Anyway, guys, the corner unit is here. They're going to go ahead and bag her up. Toe tag that girl. Rest in peace to, what was her name? Eloisa? Rest in peace to the girl, Eloisa. We going to move on with our patrol. You know, it was unfortunate, but we had to do what we had to do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and carry on with the patrol. But we're officially code four, and we're going to continue with our sheriff patrol. back out on the road this guy is enjoying the rain with his bike and we're gonna let him be you know assistance required in vinewood hills um y'all think that's far or i mean it's not too far so we could pretty much take it it didn't seem too too far it was like not vinewood hills city it was more vinewood hills the boondocks so Let's go ahead and respond with just some lights, no sirens. The roads are pretty clear out here in the boonies. So 
let's get to the situation and see what's up but guys i am really loving how this rain is looking today paired with the trees is just looking really nice and i know i just said no sirens but listen people gonna be getting out the way all right and we have to get there we are we're about like a mile out and i know some of you guys do like sirens so i'm still trying to gauge what you guys like if you guys like no sirens or more sirens but i have to clean the light bar because it was dirty and you could hardly see these beautiful beautiful lights okay so um yeah let me know down below i usually try to just toggle the sirens for you guys but i can't handle the sirens for a long time because listen i hear enough sirens living li when i was living in the hood okay so <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I'm almost out of gas. Why ain't nobody tell me? Y'all, I'm really about to show up on scene with no gas in the tank. This is crazy. All right, at least we can make it to the scene. So let's make it to the scene and figure out, uh, figure out what's up. Oh my goodness, y'all. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this patrol today, this sheriff patrol. And shout outs to Florida, especially anybody who is watching from Broward County. If you got peoples in Broward County, tell them that and says, what up, okay? And watch the episode and hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> All right, so we're on scene. Let's get serious, okay? Let's see what's going on here. Make sure everything is okay. So they said that they needed assistance. And we gotta talk to, who are we talking to first? Um, hey officer, what happened here? Hello officer, thanks for responding. The only thing I know is that we have a hit and run between a motorist and a bicyclist. Okay, do you have any information on a possible vehicle or suspect? No, I was focusing on getting the paramedics here and trying to save the victim and talking to the witness. Okay, that is all I have for you. All right, so. She was just focused on getting the paramedics and talking to the witness, like she said. Hello, sir. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. That poor guy. I hope he's okay. Um, did you see how the accident happened? Uh, no, unfortunately, I was the second person to arrive. The woman over there was the first person on scene. Okay, thank you for your help. Glad to help, officer. Sorry, but I don't know anything else. Okay. All right, let me know if you guys like the uh, first person action as well. The paramedics are really trying to help that guy. So this is the second, the first person that was on scene. So let's talk to her and see if she knows anything. Hello, how are you? Are you the one that called 911? Yes, officer, I saw the accident and decided to pull over and call for an ambulance. Okay, what happened? Can you tell me? Um, went speeding around and hit the cyclist and didn't even stop, they kept going what did you see the license plate yes i did all right so we're gonna give that license plate to dispatch um can i get a 1028 10 4 go ahead all right she says that's all she can tell us okay we got a license plate so be advised the vehicle returned as stolen what okay so we have a zara gomez I will search the surrounding areas. Okay, so we need to search the um, the victim's vehicle. So I guess the car just came around and hit the the bike, the bicyclist. What? Does she have any more information for us? I feel like there's more. I mean, ma'am, you could go. Oh, I meant to put her in the front seat of her car, but ma'am, I didn't mean to make you go on foot. Excuse me. You could get back in your... Okay, now she's starting... Okay, you want to be doofy. Go ahead and go go run, whatever. I was trying to tell you you could go back to your car, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Hashtag shambles. It's all good, though. Guys, I have no gas in this car. All right, you know what? Let me go ahead and see. Um, hey, girl, I don't got no gas. Can I use your car? Thank you. Thank you, girl. You're always helping a sister out. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find some more information. Hopefully dispatch will send me some info on that, on that vehicle. All right. Maybe I need to wait for her to, to, uh, radio me. Let me pull over real quick. Do we have anything? Dispatch. Where do I go? Do we have a hit or no? 
All right, let me see. Maybe if I just go down the road, um, I will I will find the vehicle. Maybe they're still on the road. What do you guys think? Oh, okay. Dispatch is calling us. 10-4, go ahead. Uh, we have a 1038 with a vehicle matching your description. 10-4, can you give me the location? There we go. Okay. 10-4, uh, showing you 1078, responding code 3. All right, guys, let's go. All right, so we changed the vehicle. Hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much. But I didn't want to have to go to the gas station. She could do that, you know. So I'll meet you guys when we are a little bit closer. Less than a quarter of a mile out. So uh, we're definitely going to find this vehicle and see what's up. And just do some investigative work and um, see if there's any damage to their vehicle as well. Oh, is that... Is that them up here? Oh, so it seems like another officer stopped them. Okay, okay. They probably, dispatch probably put out a, uh, a bolo. All right, let's talk to him, guys. Um, hey, partner, seems the bolo brought success. Yeah, I stopped the car because of damage on the front wheel and saw the APB. Okay, well, I'll take over from here. Sure, I'll back you up. Thanks, let's go. Let's get it. Uh, oh my gosh, yes. The whole back of the car is off on the ground. Like, how did he reach this far? Please step out of the vehicle. No way. Why, did, why are you stopping me? The car is seriously damaged. You can't continue. Get out. And the vehicle has been stolen and involved in a hit and run. And now they say they would like to talk to their lawyer. Ma'am, get down on the ground. Get down. Get down on the ground. Like, you ain't talking to no lawyer. Who'd you steal the car from? And then you hit somebody. We don't even know if that person is alive, guys. Like, we really honestly don't know. But the vehicle has significant damage. I mean, listen. The whole, what is that? I don't even know what to call that. That's on the ground. If y'all know what it's called, let me know. Ma'am, do you have anything on you that is going to prick me, stab me, poke me, or cause me any harm today? Let's see. Oh, one gram baggie of white powder. So you're on something. You're on something. Let's see if she has something in the car. Penny. Okay. Um, several rounds of ammunition, a brown bag stuffed with money. Ooh, that is suspicious. Why you got a brown bag stuffed with money? Interesting. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and get some transport for her. It's gonna be a basic hit and run. She doesn't even have a record, which is interesting, but she had some illegal substances on her and she was in possession of a stolen vehicle. Not sure what I think the story is behind that, but um, what can we even say? Just possession of a controlled substance because I didn't check it. So um, let's look for some other charges that we can give her today she definitely left the scene of an accident yeah she dipped like nothing ever happened and we're gonna give her that hit and run charge and is there anything else guys i'm probably forgetting something y'all will let me know in the comments y'all always do appreciate it of course and that's gonna be it for penny but y'all like this car is done for, but I don't know where my car went, so <laughs> we're just going to do the charges, y'all. Um, it probably went away because I took that other officer's vehicle. It happens. Y'all know GTA, uh, GTA 5. So we have Alice. She was given two years in prison for possession with intent to distribute. And we have Michael, who also had possession. He was given two years. He also had intent to distribute and attempted escape. And then we have Penny. She was charged with hit and run, leaving the scene of an accident. She was given one year. All right. So I'm not sure why they were given such little time. You guys let me know what you think. But I have to go ahead and walk to another precinct in order to clock out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Peace.